Aaron in Bellingham, Washington. Now, <laughs> for I don't know how many of you have read my memoirs, 99% true, almost a national bestseller. But for those of you that have read my memoirs, um, you'll know Bellingham. That's where my, uh, my best friend David Wiley and I wound up after trying to escape the, the U.S. Army um, in, our, in my 55 Chevy with no hood. We got turned around at the Canadian border and as, as, as draft dodgers. <laughs> and I mean, we'd just gotten out of high school or whatever it was, college, and uh, sent back and wound up in Bellingham, Washington, where we, we became slumlords. But yeah, great, great town. Um, I worked at, um, God, what was the name of that place? Um, uh, they, they uh, oh boy, now I'm not going to be able to remember. Uh, but they, um, made frozen corn and I worked as a guy who washed out the machines of the frozen corn and and whenever they had a spill I mean talk about Linden Berry Farms it came to me <laughs> Linden Berry Farms and I, I was I was one of the maintenance guys right so we washed these things out and if if they took one of these giant things about the size of this piano these boxes of corn if it split it would fall all over the cement floor. And our job was to take a frickin' shovel and shovel it up back into a new box, close it up, not tell anybody. I mean, talk about unsanitary. And you, <laughs> but that was a long time ago. I'm sure they've cleaned their act up by now. All right. Hey there, Paul. Well, hey there, Aaron. I just recently started building microphones, ooh, and I'm trying to find the best caps I can for the application. I have some Dearborn caps I think sound pretty okay, and some original Sprague caps that are also pretty neat. If you have brand suggestions, I'd like to do some experimenting. Well, capacitors make a heck of a difference, as you probably know. This, this microphone here, this is the best or at least my favorite microphone in the entire Octave Records studio. This microphone, the AKG C24, <sighs> I paid dearly for that. We found, and they're hard to find. This is a true vintage one. There's a vacuum tube or two inside of this thing. Um, it, it's just, it's a stereo microphone. Uh, you can change the capsules, but I mean, this is a glorious sounding microphone. Just unbelievable and of course it connects up to a power supply and the capacitors inside of that play a large role in how they sound as any cap does in any electronic circuit that has to do with analog audio. I wouldn't pay so much attention to the brand at first I would pay attention to the type that you're using. So in this application if you can manage and I don't know what values you need but in the signal path, use film capacitors. And if you have the space, use the kind of capacitor that's called a film and foil. If you can, they're heavy, they're usually big, but if you don't have to have you know, too uh, high of a microfarad value, that's your best bet. RELCAP makes them. There's, there's a number of companies um, that make it. You're gonna have to go to oh, uh, Parts Express. Uh, they, they, they have all those exotic capacitors. So go there and, and find your exotic capacitors. Film and foil are absolutely the best. And what that is, is normal, you know, a capacitor is an insulator and a conductor. And normally what they do on a film cap is they'll take film, what Teflon is really expensive film, but uh, polystyrene, poly, polypropylene, uh, and some kind of film. Uh, plastic film, and to that they laminate a thin tinfoil-ish piece of aluminum or whatever they can get away with, Re or they sputter it on sometimes, but it's very thin and it's laminated right to that. And then they take that and they wind it around, put a, uh, uh, a wire on one end and then on the other end of this spiral coil, and that becomes the film cap. And film, you know, ca I'm, uh, let's not get into how they work. Okay. <laughs> but you have to have a conductor and an insulator. Okay. 
So a much better sounding way of doing this, but much more difficult, is to separate so it's not metallized. That's called a metallized film cap because the metal is plated onto the, uh, the film. A film and foil cap has a separate uh, piece of film, polypropylene, whatever the film is, and all those films sound different, and then a separate sheet of thin tin foil, and those are wrapped together, and the conductor is only you know hooked up where it needs to be. Uh, and it, they're very difficult to make, they're heavy, they're expensive, and blah, blah, blah. But look for that if you can, okay? Good luck with your project. All right, take it easy. Thank you.